So, uh, what's going on, dude? Oh, cool. Hello, Francis Bryce here with Everyday Magic. And um, I wanted to share a, a chapter from my Tao Te Ching with you. Chapter sounds long, but actually it's a, a brief kind of prose poem. And the Tao Te Ching um, originally is a Chinese, an ancient Chinese spiritual text, uh, but actually a text about leadership. Um, and I, uh, a little while ago, wrote a, a kind of modern version. I, I looked at many different translations and, and wanted to put it into more accessible modern language. And um, there's a chapter I wanted to share and talk about a little bit in terms of what it means to me. It's chapter 22. Heart broken, open. Confusion and mystery lead to clarity, to fill up, <sighs> empty out. Embrace dying to foster living, give to receive. The wise fool lives from the Tao, listening to the still, small voice in her heart. Quietly blossoming, people see her beauty. Like the sun behind a cloud, her brilliance is hidden, but people feel her warmth. When she makes a point, there's no arguing. She's got nothing to prove. She offers an open heart and people see themselves in her eyes. With no ideas of good or bad, she's wonderful at everything. When the ancients said, embrace dying to foster living, was that crazy? Surrender to the way and find yourself where you are. Here and now. Here and now. Here and now. Stop trying to be something and be something. So part of why I love that chapter is it evokes in me a sense of the possibility of ease. <laughs> you know, life can be really busy. I'm, I'm really freaking busy. A lot of the time, in between work life, a busy work life, in doing work that I love, I feel very blessed with that, but doing a busy work life, doing work that I love, and traveling for that quite a bit of the time, and and wanting to be present as a father, and as a husband, and you know, and a lover, and in my life, and wanting to be present for my friends. There's just so many cries for my time let alone time to take care of myself, yeah, do some fitness, yeah, whatever, um, you know, take care of my needs as well. It, it can be hard to face up to all of those demands on my time. And, and especially if I want to do creative things, there's things I want to make, there's books I want to write, there's stuff I want to do. It doesn't fit into any of those categories, but it's really essential to me feeling like I'm on purpose and expressing myself and all of that good stuff. It's hard to know where all of that fits. And, and driven by all of that, I can end up feeling very busy, making myself very busy, actually. And what that chapter invites for me anyway, and I hope for you too. What that chapter invites for me is presence, but also maybe inviting the possibility that I can allow the world to act through me, that I don't have to do it. I don't have to kind of do it all. In some way, I can allow things to be done through me and that's a, a concept that's congruent with many spiritual traditions, actually, in many shamanic tribal 
traditions, there, there's some concept along the lines of the hollow bone, the channel through which things can flow, that to do the work of spirit, we, ha we don't have to be clever or busy or even terribly active to some degree. We do have to hollow ourselves out so that we can be a vessel for spirit, so that spirit can flow through us. And, and whether precisely that concept works for you in terms of you know your sense of spirituality, I think there is something for me about the grace of getting out of the way and releasing myself from the trap of having to do it all. What if it can get done? And I may be an agent of that in some way, but it can happen through me rather than me having to do it. It feels like there's a really healthy uh, relaxing of what can other be always feel like a very tight grip trying to make sure everything gets done. But maybe there's a healthy relaxing and releasing of, of the outcomes that could be nourishing. So thanks for sharing this moment with me here and now, here and now here and now and um, I hope that's been of value to you and I invite you to find the places in your life find the moments find the way of being that maybe allows a little more to happen through you rather than by you maybe you don't have to do it all offered as ever with love.